What's up everyone, it's Eden here. Today I'm gonna to be playing a game called Farming Simulator. So this is a game that was made by a YouTuber named Mr. Seniac and some of his other friends and all that. So yeah, Mr. Seniac is a uh, British YouTuber who has about half a million, over half a million subs. Um, his content is pretty good. I was mostly like, I really liked his lumber taken videos, but I guess he really stopped doing them because yeah, lumber taken's a bit boring at times. So, as you can see, this, I can I played this game quite a bit in the past. I played this game when it came out, maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, it's already been over seven months since this game last received an update. Like, this game only received, like, a couple of updates, and that's pretty much it. This game would be a lot more fun and enjoyable, actually, if it received a lot more updates. But, apparent, it's I guess it's not going to receive any more updates, really. I mean, yeah, the last update was just a new pet system rehaul, but... I mean, if they're like thinking to completely revamp this game, I mean, I don't even know anymore. I mean, unless we find out what actually happens and why Farming Simulator doesn't actually get updates, then I guess it would just remain like this for now. So yeah, you know, it's basically what any other ordinary simulator, it's what you expect. So yeah, you go, you collect wheat, you sell it, you get better tools, buy pets, you can even buy vehicles. And you can just become the all-time farmer, pretty much, and that's pretty much it. I know some of you guys might think, like, oh, why would you want to be a farmer? Oh, those guys are poor. But you should be very thankful for our farmers, because they're the ones who, like, grow our crops and actually, like, give us food. If it wasn't for them, the whole world would be under, like, a start. Like, we would all be starving. It would pretty much be, like, the Great Depression, probably. I mean, that's pretty much the economy lost, but... Just thanks, just thank you Lord that we have farmers who actually like grow f food for us so we don't starve and yeah. Um, the custom soundtracks are made by B Slick of course because you know B Slick's our god. So all this music in the background is safe to use in videos. So that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I have the UFO because you know it makes collecting wheat so much quicker. It's only like 1200 Robux I think, right? Uh, okay, I can't show right there, but uh, let me check real quick in the uh, store that this thing is indeed 1200 Robux, so Yeah, it's about 10 12 dollars. I guess so something about ish But this thing is very good infinite capacity hops fences collects a decent amount of Wheat and it can very really help you level up your pets quicker So this is why I kind of recommend actually getting this but if you want then you can just get that um other vehicle that most expensive one because that will also help you so that's pretty much what the game is so it's basically just another one of those grabbing cash grabbing simulator games but it looks more enjoyable in a way i mean it's refreshing it's calm and yeah it has a lot to it so yeah you have golden fruits which you can collect for tokens with those tokens you can uh, upgrade your workers your workers collection amount and how long it takes before your workers will give you money which is really just decreasing it, so that way you get it more periodically. A lot of YouTubers played this game actually, and um, and spent quite a bit of Robux on it. Hey, if you're Mr. Russo, you can um, you can just buy whatever you want. Like I don't even get like why most clicker games actually just have so much with uh, YouTuber pets like. Are they expecting the YouTuber to play their game, spend all the Robux? Like, I think that's what's really going on. I mean, if I ever made a clicker game, I would never, ever add a, like a YouTuber egg or a YouTuber pets or anything like that. Maybe a few YouTuber codes for like bonus clicks, but that's pretty much it. Like, these, whenever a game has like YouTuber pets or whatever, it just breaks the game entirely. I remember this one game I played called Tapping or Horde something. It's 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 um it's Halloween related pretty much, and it was made by I think some Portuguese de developers. They keep adding codes to break the game. There's one code in general which just literally breaks the game, and you can just beat it in like 10 seconds. Get infinite rebirths at that point, and just beat it. It's just and it's kind of buggy as well. I think they just took a tutorial. And then they made a remastered series based off Christmas. 
But uh, yeah, a little off topic right there. So this is pretty much what farming simulator is. So if you also look, there's also values on the wheat, which is pretty much how much it's worth. So this is worth times one. This wheat is worth for times two, the price. Uh, this is worth 1.5, it looks like, yep. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's different locations, so yeah. There you go, Oscar, give me that one million. There's also a bank right there where you can trade your cash for cash for tokens. Legit, I think it's kind of a ripoff. Now there is some problems and flaws with this game. Uh, the first thing is about nearly everything is a little bit too expensive. Like game passes, they're kind of overpriced and I mean like when they added uh, when they kept updating the game and adding more things, yeah, it made everything a little bit more easier to get. And like a million dollars, not a problem. Billion dollars, puh, not on my watch. But now it just feels a bit harder for me and I think if I was actually playing this game a lot more then I would probably get a lot more progress done and probably buying game passes and stuff as well. But since I really don't play this game anymore because, you know, it doesn't it doesn't update, uh, I'm kinda behind. I mean I've been mostly playing a lot of Beast Run Simulator lately because that game is fun. At this point Beast Run Simulator shouldn't even be classified as a simulator because it's it's now its own unique game. It should just, just be called Beast Worm. I mean I don't know what's the point of calling game simulators like you know Beast Worm should be called Yeah, Beast Worm should be just called Beast Worm. Farming Simulator should be maybe just called Farming Simulator, I don't know. I don't know what's unique and potential in this game. I mean yeah, you got a spaceship over there, yeah that's pretty nice. But everything about this game, like the builders of this game, they did a very good job on making the map and this game just, it, it has some potential, it's very good. Yes, it doesn't update as much, so maybe if we spam Saniax Twitter, maybe he'll say something about this game. Maybe he did and we, we're just not up to date because I don't really watch most of his videos now. Um, it's just, times change, you know? Like you start off by watching one of your favorite YouTubers and then you just move on and then you just start watching other YouTubers and I mean sometimes you might come back to the past to revisit the Nostaga and it, that's the old memories, yeah, pretty cool. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, if you haven't heard already, Roblox will be doing the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards. So there's already been some leaks and trailers going around. So basically this year's Bloxy Awards is now you actually have to go into a game or in the Bloxy game and then you can actually go and vote from there. So advancing technology. So it's no longer a website, you actually have to go into a game. Based off what I saw from the trailer. You go confirm the vote um, and that's pretty much it. I like how each year when they do the Bloxies, it's always something different, like, I'm very impressed with that. And also when you do vote, you get a little pin. Uh, you have to um, vote before the 17th of February or you won't get it. So, yeah, Bloxies are pretty cool. You know how cool it would it be if I won a Bloxie? I think the Bloxie I would only expect is probably either Builder or something about building or maybe animating. Not sure. I mean, you know, Roblox doesn't nominate me because I'm not a known person. I am a YouTuber who has almost 500 subscribers actually, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, when I do hit 500 subscribers, I'll try again for like the 50 millionth time to do an actual proper Q&A. Like all the times I want to do a Q&A, it just can't happen because I only get like three questions and that's pretty much it. I mean, like 12 at least would be perfect. So then I actually have like a decent enough video, but you know, if I can't get a decent Q&A, then I just won't do them. I mean, so I'll get 500 to go. If not, then I won't do another Q&A until like a thousand or something. Um, I will give away Nitro as usual. Every milestone I'll give Nitro, except I probably won't be able to give it until March because I just went bankrupt on my card and now I <coughs> have no money left on it. It, it only has enough to buy like uh, Frosty Slime memberships, which are $1 a month. So I only have enough to buy like for three months because I only have like $3 left on the card. So yeah, sorry about that. But 
Hey, if you can, I mean, it's the perfect time to actually join the server because there's a requi requirement where you need to be in the server for five days or more to win giveaways. If you enter a giveaway win, but you haven't been in the server for five days, you gotta be re-rolled. Because it wouldn't be fair for anyone else who's been in the server longer, I mean. You join the server like 10 hours before a giveaway ends, you claim it, and then you just leave. Like, that's why I don't want... Um, that's why I don't want that to happen. And if that becomes even more of a problem, then, oh well, then I'll have to change like the requirements to like level 10. And just so you know, the server's pretty dead, and only at least two people actually, including my two, two people plus me, actually talk in the server, mostly. So, yeah. But anyways, um, I think I've been babbling about a bunch this whole video because Farming simulator is just just an ordinary simulator. You just click wheat and that's it. But this is also a good time to give a little talk and and a conversation. So yeah. But yeah. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed the game. Or if you don't want to play, it's fine. If you want to give it a tryout, at least give it a try because it's pretty cool. I need to do something instead of playing Beast Farm Simulator all goddamn day. But I just want to get BBM's quest done. It's just such a pain in the ass. Okay, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and this is pretty much it. See you.